Hey guys, welcome to Fusion Fridays. Today we're going to be making a, a metal sheet metal box using the sheet metal tool inside of Fusion 360. Thanks for being here. I'm going to show you how to do something similar to this box. And after you're done with this box, we can actually flatten it out using the sheet metal tool. Just creating um, with the create flat pattern. I'm just creating a plane and then hitting OK. It says it's already created because I created it before and I can export this to DXF. This is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to finish that flat pattern. I'm going to turn off where we're going at. And now I'm going to create um, in the sheet metal menu. I'm going to create a new component um, and in the new component, I am going to choose steel as my component here. I'm going to name my component uh, box and here's all your thickness. So it's important to create the new component first. Once I have my box, I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to choose this bottom plane here and I'm going to create a little bit of a box doesn't really matter the dimensions now. And then once I've, I'm done with that, I want to go ahead and finish the sketch. I want to create a flange. That's the tool we're going to be using most. Basically, flanges create a metal face or flange from other edges. And you can do symmetry and a bunch of things. But learning how to use the flange tool is important. Again, I had to create a new component first. You just don't want to start with the sketch. That determines the actual... Um, components of what you're making. So for me, I set the thickness at that component start. So um, when I select the first surface, it automatically gives the thickness based on what the component has. And I'm going to select OK. And now I'm going to start building up the edges. Again, I'm going to select the flange tool. I'm going to select an edge and by moving the arrow key up and towards my Y direction, you can see my dimensions there, I'm able to flange one edge. I'm gonna select um, several edges and I'm looking for that arrow tool there. You can see that the arrow tool says I'm going up. So I'm gonna be moving that up and you can see that it created all the properties needed for sheet metal folding. Um, I'm approximately going up one inch there. And all of my flange histories here, just like Fusion 360 has. I'm going to hit enter to accept that. And then I'm going to flange just this edge to create a lid. Selecting the flange tool. And then I'm going to be coming over to this edge here. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. So now we learned how to create the flanges. Of course, um, you can uh, you can do different things to the edges. I can move these and round these corners based on what's needed using the flange tool. I hit the F key in order to do that, just like any other object, okay? So now let's go ahead and create that little lid, that little lip that I would pull up or pull down. So in this situation here, I'm gonna select this edge and then I'm going to create my flange now, the edge tool here, it says edge one was selected, has op options, okay? And in that option, I'm going to select symmetric. So the two places that you need to explore when you're practicing with this is the settings for the edge inside the flange window and also the settings below. Um, obviously, some of those are interactive or you can override them. You can see that I'm zero inches. So I selected symmetric and now I can determine what for the symmetry, where do I want that flange to go up? So I move my arrow key in and now I'm going to come up. All right. So guys, we're pretty much done here. So at the last step is the most important step. How are you going to get this made? Um, and obviously not bent, but how are you going to make it made in 2D? And we're still in the sheet metal tool. So what I'm going to do is I am going to select the create flat pattern and then I'm going to select the stationary face. You'll practice with that and understand what that is and then select OK. It says it already exists because I've created it. And there it is. And this is where you export the DXF file. After you're done with the finished flat pattern, you will not lose this export the DXF 
So go ahead and do it now, but you can always get back there. So I'm gonna finish the flat pattern and there it is. Practice with doing the rounded edges and moving things around using the flange tool. That is your friend. That's pretty much everything. Remember, create the component first and choose what metal you're using for the sheet metal tool. Thanks for joining me for Fusion Fridays. Thanks. If you want any more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and like and all that other stuff. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, just thanks for your support. I'd love a conversation below. Bye. Take care. Take care.